Okay, I'm going to walk you through the steps on how to georeference a PDF image in ArcMap. So the first step is you want to set your data frame coordinate system. So I'm going to go data frame properties. In this case, I've already done it. But essentially, you're going to go to projected coordinate system. And we're going to work with UTM NAD 1983. And we're working within zone. 10. So that's the one you're going to work with. You're going to hit OK. And the next step to bring in a PDF in ArcMap, you actually need to use a special tool. So we're going to open up this Arc Toolbox. It's a little red box. Go to Conversion Tools. And we're going to PDF to TIFF. Open this up. And the input in my case is going to be this Phase 7 Aerial Image PDF. And my export is going to go right into that same folder. And as you see, I've already done it. We're going to try it again. Phase 7, Arial. I like putting no spaces between the files. So this, this warning will come up. It means that you have to put .tiff at the end. And then it should work. Oh, oh and I'm going to replace it. Oops. V2, version 2. Great. So now it's making this conversion, and here is my image. Now you're going to notice that there are, and that's why this little warning comes up, that there's no coordinates associated with this image. So the next step is to go to Customize Toolbars, Geo-Referencing Toolbar. So we're going to open up this toolbar here. Now, an important part here is that you need to find this image on an existing map to get some coordinates. And you need to find coordinates for points that you can identify in the image. So for instance, at the end of this road would be a great place, or at the end of this road. So you need to go into Google Earth or another GIS application to find those coordinates. So here I am in Google Earth, and this is the same location as my map. So if you look at this, road right here and at this road I was able to find those on my image so I want to capture the coordinates here and then here and I like working in UTM so I'm going to go to tools options and we're going to pick the universal transverse mercator as our um, as the, the coordinate system we're working with, the, pro the projection we're working with. So here you go. I'm going to write those coordinates down. And then I'm going to write these coordinates down. So I wrote my coordinates down. And now I want to add these coordinates um, to my map. And so <clears throat> what you're going to do is you're going to do add control points in this georeferencing toolbar. Click on that. click on that you also want to open up view link table okay and now once you're ready to add some control points so I'm going to start here and I'm going to select this point right here and see how it drags out and there's it says one and this line drags out I'm going to right click input XY so my X coordinates for this one are 5, 4, 6, 0, 1, 7, 6. And my Y coordinates are 5, 1, 9, 5, 9, 4. So you should always have 6 for your, oops, I didn't do that right. Huh. Your X should have 6 and your Y should have 7. So my X. One, two, three, it should be five, one, nine, five, nine, four. And this one should be five, four, six, zero, one, seven, six. Okay. Oh, where did it go? Well, I've now assigned it coordinates, so it won't be in this location anymore. So you're going to right click on it and go zoom to layer. And now you're located to where 
it should be in with real world coordinates. Now it's always a good, you need to, because of some warping with the projections, you always need to add at least two control points, preferably if they were spaced apart a little bit more. Now, right here, there's the name of the road that's kind of difficult and it makes it hard to assign um, the, the actual point on this map. But I'm going to estimate for this map. But if you work, I believe that the under the C is where in the image is the end of the road. So I'm going to right click. Oops, I'm going to click on it. So I'm adding another um, control point. Right click, input X and Y. So now we're going to add these coordinates. So remember your X should be 519748. And these Y coordinates will be 5460469. Great. We're going to zoom to layer again. And see now by assigning two coordinates, you see how it's a little bit tilted, and that's the way it should be because of the projection and because maps are 2D image on a, a 3D geoid. Okay, so now the next last step is to update georeferencing. Good. So now what you can export this map if you wanted to use this in an applications like uh, Avenza PDF maps or something like that. So I'm going to do that file export map. I'm going to save it as um, a PDF. There we go. I can see it for a second. And it's my real image for phase seven. Um, and the last piece here is you got to go under advanced and ensure that it says export map georeference information. Save. And there you go. Now you've got a georeferenced image for um, other uses.